From radio and TV stations and social media platforms to restaurants, coffee shops and other places where Somalis meet and talk, Somalia's elections are one of the major topics of discussion. How do the elections fit into the overall construction of democracy in Somalia? Somalia's Provisional Federal Constitution of 2012 is the fundamental law of the nation and state. As a social contract, the Constitution governs our life. It lays down the rules and principles that guide the organization and operation of the state. The Constitution requires the federal government to organize elections every four years to elect a new federal parliament and a federal president. The federal parliament makes laws, debates important issues of public interest, represents the views of Somali citizens across the country, and votes on proposed budgets for the entire federal government. Parliament consists of two chambers, a 54-member upper house, and the House of the People comprising of 275 members. In some instances, both chambers are endowed with similar duties and powers, such as the election or impeachment of federal president. In other instances, specific powers are vested in only one of the chambers. For example, only the House of the People can conduct a vote of no confidence in the Prime Minister, who is appointed by the federal president. Upper House legislators can initiate, pass, amend, or reject laws tabled before it and participate in the process of appointing members of all national commissions. The federal president will be elected by the newly sworn in members of Somalia's 11th federal parliament for a four year term. As Somalia's head of state, the federal president is the symbol of national unity and serves as the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, appoints the prime minister, and signs international treaties. This year's elections are critical to Somalia's democratization as they pave the way for one-person, one-vote elections to take place in 2024-2025.